there you are, Sir Gordon. This oh. is another of your skills, dry stone walling. Well, you know, not really highly skilled. I've done a good bit, but I'm not a stone waller professional. I do a bit. But here, I've exchanged a few acres here for a few acres much further off, and I wanted to build a ha-ha so as to be able to look right across there onto grass there without a hedge. Now, um, that means digging out a great deal here, but I haven't any labor to do it. So I'm building this from the end in the trench. It's a rough job. Uh, I'm using a bit of mortar with it, not very much. And uh, judging the batter of the wall, that is how far it lies back by the um, trench, which is cut upright. It'll have to take a certain amount of weight of the soil from behind, oh, yeah. won't it? At the top. It's got to have a lot of soil thrown over here, you see. Directly we get up, this has got to come up to about that height. Yeah. Another, but at the moment, all I'm doing is building it so as to hold the, um, the, the uh, side of the trench up in case we get heavy rain and then frost early. Have you done many uh, walls like this? No, I've never done. I don't think anyone has ever seen a wall built up from the end. You know, this is this is not a Cotswold tradition. It's my invention for the particular difficulties of the situation. Yeah. There it is. But um, it works. That's you know, the main thing. It, I don't think it'll fall down. <laughs>